Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching that quick, really bad concert. I apologize for the fact that I'm so horrible at making music, but I think the idea behind this is pretty cool. Uh, I have it set up so you can do instruments. I showed a uh, flute, piano, and guitar. You can also do music loops. I had electronica loops and bass loops that I was mushing together into a kind of techno sort of thing. And I can do drums by waving my hand up and down and just randomly selects a drum beat when I pop my hand on like this, and I can clap for a bass beat. Uh, there's a limitless number of other things that you can do with this. I'm using pure data. I'll walk you through the software in a, in a little bit. Uh, first, if you haven't seen the original video where I showed the sudo glove control system, go check it out first. Click this link over here, and you can come back here uh, when you're done. That explains how the system works. All the hardware is exactly the same. The cool thing about this is I, I haven't changed any software on the glove end of this. This is all completely unmodified, and that was the original idea of the system, uh, was that you just have this data and you can kind of do whatever you want with it. And so now I'm using the data for music synthesis and some graphical feedback on the computer. So I made like one hardware change, which is just I improved the uh, wiring system here, put some nice wrapping around it, new wires inside, and uh, heat shrunk the ends and stuff just to make it a little bit sturdier. So that was a nice improvement, but everything else is software end uh, on the computer. So let me walk you through some of the new software stuff that I'm using. This is one of the first processing programs that I wrote for it. Basically, it grabs some serial data. Uh, you can turn on or off serial communication, choose a COM port for it to talk on. And you can see when I select the right one, it starts grabbing all the values. It shows them over here, stuff like that. Uh, and you can change the feedback in this case by tilting your hand, and that just creates a different audio effect. And then it just basically takes each of the sensors and combines them together into some different frequencies and you get a sound out, and it sounds kind of like this, kind of eerie and spacey and stuff. Um, so you control the volume with this guy, this one controls another frequency, um, this guy controls another frequency, and then waving your hand up and down, shows a different frequency. And then they all just basically get added together, and uh, you can see it tracks my motion here, and it uses that to change the uh, feedback delay. It's pretty straightforward, nice and simple. All right, and this is the final version of the synthesis software they came up with. This is, I think, the 12th iteration. I went through a lot of files on this, and this is just the front end. There's a lot more behind this. You basically start it by telling it to transceive. By default, it's set up so that the piano is assigned to the ring finger and the flute to the pinky finger, but you can actually change these on the fly. Um, so you can choose what instrument you want to play by pressing which finger. And basically how it works is you choose the note by flexing your finger, and that creates an analog value that you use to select one note you want to play and then you play that note by pressing one of these sensors so I can play the piano like that or the flute in a similar, ma in a similar manner um, and then at any point I can change what instrument I want to play or I can play multiple instruments at once so if I want the ring finger to activate the piano and the guitar I can select that and now you can see that it plays both there's a few other options that you can enable here as well uh, you can click this guy over here to enable it to play a bass beat when you clap the vibration sensor. So that's one option. And then another, oops, keep moving my hand around. And then the other option is you can have a drum kit enabled. That's basically just looking for acceleration. And it picks a random drum beat to play when you slap your hand down. It doesn't have to be very fast. I have a few other options here. There's also um, some bass and electronica loops that you can start playing. Uh, so we can just select, deselect the piano and the flute and the guitar and put those on. And you heard those earlier. So I can now choose a bass beat and you can see which one gets selected by the, uh, the indicators up on the top in the blue area. And that'll kind of loop through in the background and you can continue playing other stuff on top of that. So. The ideas are limitless here. You can kind of choose whatever music you want. You can get some cool looping effects going on. And then I can play some electronic stuff on top of that. And I basically just choose which one I want by uh, moving my finger to a different place and then I'm pushing down my pinky finger. And that's all there is to it. And those will continue playing in the background until the clips finish. Uh, and so we can actually look at the back end here. This is just the front end. Each of these guys here contains all the analysis that's, be, that's being done for the notes. So this guy is looking at all the instruments. Um, this one over here is calculating the, uh, the bass. 
This one handles all the electronic beats. You can see that this one's huge. There's a total of 24 different electronic beats that you can choose from. You can see how many there are. And then the last one does the drums. And so this part over here handles clapping to enable the bass, and then the rest of it is choosing a random value and enabling it when the accelerometer detects a, uh, a downward velocity. And uh, that's basically all there is to it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I've been working really hard on this for the last week or two now. Uh, I've put in a lot of time into learning pure data and figuring out that programming language, and it's a lot of fun. You should check it out. As always, all the source code and everything for this project will be up on my blog, so go check that out, jeremyblum.com. And I'm going to put some bonus footage up on my second channel, uh, Jeremy E. Blum, on YouTube. Go check that out. That's going to be uncut original footage of me driving the car around with the Sudo glove for the first time. Uh, I'm really quite bad at it, and it's, it's pretty entertaining to watch that five minutes of me just driving it around and failing miserably at it. So, yeah, that'll be up on my second channel. Let me know if you have any suggestions or anything, and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll see you soon, and thanks for watching.